Its developers call it a hedgehog. The robot is covered by spikes, but unlike those of its namesake, they're not for protection against predators, but against the dangers of unknown terrain on the Martian moon Phobos. Issa Nesnes, a robotics engineer from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, says Phobos is shrouded in mystery. He says scientists want to find out how it came to orbit its planet closer than any other in the solar system. Exploring uh, the um, Martian moon of Phobos gives us uh, more information about the origins of that moon, which helps us understand uh, more about the solar system. And the hedgehogs are key to that understanding. They will be part of an autonomous system that also comprises a mothership, equipped with a suite of sensors to scan the moon's surface. It will then deploy several of the spiky robots for a closer look. Stanford's Marco Pavone says what makes the mission difficult is the lack of gravity. We all know them are the Mars rovers, and they are very successful at what they do on Mars. But Mars has a gravity level that is comparable to the one on Earth. Phobos, however, has almost no gravity to speak of. Pavone says a robot with wheels would be almost impossible to control and would most likely drift off the surface into space. He says the hedgehog spikes will give the robot more traction. For propulsion, the team is developing a set of internal flywheels to generate force. By spinning, accelerating spinning these internal wheels, we are able to generate a, a, a torque mm -hmm. on the rover, which gives rise to reaction forces from the terrain that makes the rover either hop or tumble. Our hope is that the next step would be taking this platform to what we call the Vomit Comet, which is a zero-g airplane um, that allows us to have you know, maybe 10 to 20 seconds of microgravity where we can test some of these strategies in that environment. Pavone says the data the hedgehogs collect will be uploaded to the mothership, which would then send it back to researchers on Earth. That data could pave the way for future manned missions to Mars. Phobos's microgravity environment would be safer and cheaper to land humans on than Mars itself. Issa Nesnes says the moon's close orbit to the planet will give astronauts the ability to control more sophisticated exploration vehicles on the Martian surface in near real time. The researchers say it will take several years to complete the development of the probes and the mothership, but they say unraveling the mysteries of Phobos and the mysteries of the solar system is well within reach.